Yo, what's going on everybody? Hopefully you guys are all having an amazing day today. Now, today I'm doing a little bit of a different video. Let me go ahead and roll this up. I wanted to talk to you guys about some of my favorite modifications that I've done to my 2018 uh, WRX STI so far and talk to you guys about all my favorites and stuff like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a little drive. We're gonna drive to a location. It's around sunset right now. Um, we're gonna drive to a nice little location where I can park the car, get a nice view of the car and then I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you guys about my favorite modifications that I've done to this car so far so let's go ahead and do this let's hope the GoPro doesn't fall off the car because I'm setting it up for the first time so yeah let's go ahead and take a ride so like I said this is my first time using the GoPro I have it in my view so I'm just hoping we don't lose it or anything because uh, that would really suck but I know the GoPros are pretty tough I don't have a covered case on it I should probably have a covered case on it but anyways guys let's go ahead and we're gonna head to a spot where we can get a nice shot and tell you guys about some of my favorite mods. I hope this, I hope the camera, I have my whole DSLR, I have my whole Sony a6400 set up for you guys right now um, with the suction cup mount. So I'm just hoping that that, that doesn't fall actually as well. So, but it should be okay, I'm hoping. Look, we're pulling out of the driveway, so we're gonna have our first little pull right now. Get some blow off valve sound. All right, here we go. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so I just found a nice spot here just to sit and talk to you guys. So, uh, let's go ahead and just start. So one of the first best mods that I would highly recommend you get if you have a 15 to 20 Subaru WRX STIs, I would high or WRX, it doesn't have to be an STI. I would highly recommend you get a iDoing head unit. That's the one that I got. Um, I'll put in some clips. This thing is amazing. It's the one thing I hated about this car. The head unit is so stupid, the one that comes from factory, okay? It costs like two, three grand, and this one that I picked up is only two, three hundred bucks, and you can freaking do whatever you want on this thing. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, YouTube, freaking search on Google, Netflix, Hulu, I have Amazon Prime. Sometimes I'm going through town, I, I, I just put on the WAP song, you know? I want to watch some WAP, I just put it, so slap it right on, you know? Look at my mouth, look at my thighs, sweat is wet. So I actually do have a full video on that. If you guys want to check it out, I'll link it down below. Without a doubt, the first mod that you guys should be doing if you have a 15 to 18 or a 15 to 20 WRX or SCI, definitely is going to be an iDoing head unit without a doubt. It can be any brand, but I think the iDoing is. So the next thing that I'm going to talk about, this is going to follow up the head unit. It's going to be more interior mods. Now, the first interior mod that I would suggest upgrading is some of your trims. Uh, some of the trim um, near the glove box. There's many options out there. I got the one with the red line. I think it goes great with the interior. I think it usually it's just black but you can get these awesome ones. These are actually OEM Subaru. I believe they put these on the Crosstrek, but they also fit on this one. Another few things that I got is the red push to start button. I think that's an awesome touch, especially for the WRX and the STI. Another interior mod that I would highly recommend is these LED upgraded lights. So all of these lights that I have in this car, they're all LED from the trunk to the license plate to the visor up here all the lights are now led and i would highly recommend upgrading those it brightens up the car it makes it look a lot more modern and a lot more up to date another interior mod is the footwell lighting kit i would only recommend getting the one from subaru because 
it's OEM, it's plug and play, and I would just only recommend doing that. I found the more aftermarket-y parts you go with, you're just gonna end up getting issues at the end of the day. Next up, and now this is one of the biggest ones, ladies and gentlemen, this is this steering wheel, okay? This is a Burns Auto uh, forged carbon fiber steering wheel. This thing is ridiculous. You only see stuff like this in like a Lamborghini or a Porsche or a Ferrari, and it's just ridiculous that you can get it for this car. That's another reason why I like this car, is there's just so many modifications that you can do for this car um, for this type of car and that's another reason why I wanted the car because there's no other car on the market that just has so many freaking modifications that are available it's literally stupid it's ridiculous so that is another thing ladies and gentlemen is definitely think about upgrading your steering wheel all right guys so the next thing that I would recommend doing for your 15 to 20 uh, WRX or SCI would be wheels now Okay, I told myself this when I got this car. I'm just gonna keep the stock wheels, you know, blah, blah, blah. But you can't deny, okay, the difference that these make compared to the stock wheels. The stock wheels are amazing. They're, they're absolutely amazing. They're probably the best looking stock wheels on most car in this value point. But these just make it look so much better with the curve and the concave and they're sort of lined up with the fenders. I think they look amazing. Now, if you're wondering what wheels these are, these are the ESR SRO8. This is a 19 inch rim with a 35 offset and 9.5 inches wide. I'm running a 255 35 19 tire on this thing. These are hand cooks, obviously, by the tire lettering. Another thing, this is the, uh, if you're wondering before we continue with the video, this is the Rising Sun Avery gloss wrap that I did myself. So that keep that in mind. But back to the wheels and stuff, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, the ESR wheels, the hand cooked tires, and Brembo's. These come with those neon green Brembo's. My dad and I actually painted these with a candy red pearl. Um, so I would highly recommend doing that as well, unless you like the green. If you like the green, stick with the green. But I really thought that red would go nice. See, so you have that red, and then you got the red in the, in the color shifting uh, wrap. I really, really like it. All right, guys, so next up, I would highly recommend doing these two things here. First one, actually, ooh, we're a bit dirty down here. We are a bit dirty, I just actually cleaned it. But first thing, ladies and gentlemen, I would highly recommend getting yourself some upgraded tail lights. Uh, the stock tail lights look okay, but they just don't have any modern aspect to them. These have a really nice aggressive look, and I love the sequential uh, turn signals that they have. We'll go ahead and show you guys those right now. So these are the sequential turn signals that they do have which I think just looks freaking awesome, guys. Now, moving on from the taillights, those of course are the Subi Speed taillights, but moving on from those, I would highly recommend, obviously this is gonna be something that most of you guys do right away, and that would be upgrading your exhaust. So I have the Remark Catback, it is resonated, it's the resonated one, but I'm not gonna go any louder than this, like really, at, the, at that point you're just gonna be pissing people off and it's already pretty loud. Like that's probably what I'm gonna stay with. I'm gonna stay with these. I don't really think it needs to be any louder to be honest with you. All right guys, so finally, this is one that's really important. I would highly recommend getting these right here. These are OEM from Subaru. They're like a door ding guard that's put on with 3M double-sided sticky tape. And these are gonna save you from a lot of door dings. This is something that I would highly recommend you get. Um, I, there was no door dings on this car, thankfully, when I got it, so I could still put these on, and it's gonna protect them from any door dings. And yeah, so I would highly recommend getting these, ladies and gentlemen. It, it, it's just gonna help you out a lot in the long run. Now, one final thing that I forgot to mention would be these, okay? This and the front lip, I highly recommend, okay? As well as, as, well as the rear side spat. So this is the OEM Subaru side skirt. I'd highly recommend that. It's a really nice, easy flush install. You're only gonna get a really nice, easy install if it's OEM Subaru. Um, there's a few things that fit perfect from aftermarket, but I would still recommend going with OEM Subaru stuff when it comes to the front lip and this. Um, 
So I would highly recommend the front lip from Subaru. I would highly recommend these side skirts from Subaru. And I would highly recommend the rear side spats, I'm pretty sure they're called, from Subaru as well. They just make the rear bumper look so much more aggressive. And if you're wondering what the little black things are that I have on the very bottom of the bumper, those are just some things that I got on an eBay. That's like the only non-OEM thing that I have in terms of like a body kit wise. Um, but those I did get on eBay. So I did cheat a little bit when it, go, when it comes to those. All right, guys. So before I wrap up the video, I might as well show you what I have going on under the hood. Not much is going on. I do have the um, intercooler cover. I think I got this on Rally Sport Direct or Subi Speed. Really, really important. It'll protect it from bugs destroying the fins on the intercooler. Highly recommend that. Um, a few other things that I have done. I did do the Drycon Grim Speed um, intake filter. I highly recommend that. It requires no tune, but it does increase the airflow a little bit. Now, finally, this is the only thing I could do without voiding the warranty. It's just a GFB blow off valve. It's tuned perfectly. I'm not getting any issues with the car, any weird idling, but that's something that I would recommend. It makes the car so much cooler. I'm not gonna lie, going through town and hearing that blow off, it's just so cool. So under the engine bay, that's really all I've got going on, guys. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video, taking a look at some things that I would recommend you get um, if you have a 2015 to 20 WRX or STI. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.